Hello Chattanooga, here's a quick look at today's top stories. First of all, raising chickens won't be allowed in city limits. The city council voted 6-3 to three against an ordinance that would have allowed urban chickens. While some residents argued they have a right to control at least part of their food supply, opponents said the sights, smells, and sounds of next-door chickens would tank their property values. Still, supporters say there are hundreds of illegal chicken owners in Chattanooga already who didn't attend last night's city council meeting for fear of being busted. And now that the council has turned down the ordinance, they say it will lose out on revenue from permit fees it might have otherwise received. The Chattanooga Zoo has been forced to close after it missed a license deadline. The zoo has to renew its animal welfare license every year, but this year it didn't submit the paperwork until June 28th, three days after it was due. As a result, a government official said the license wouldn't be renewed. Now all of the zoo's mammal exhibits are closed. The zoo's reapplied, but it can't reopen until after an inspector comes on Thursday. If all goes well, the zoo should be back open to visitors on Friday. A Chattanooga software company has signed a major deal with the Mellow Mushroom restaurant chain. Quick Q will supply all 120 Mellow Mushroom restaurants with iPad software that alerts customers via text message when their table is ready. Quick Q also takes reservations, manages seating, and even remembers guests' favorite drinks, tables, and servers. It's a big deal for Quick Q, which says several other restaurant agreements are also in the works. Dalton Mayor David Pennington has announced he's running for governor of Georgia. Pennington is positioning himself as an anti-tax champion, working toward ending the state income tax. He'll be challenging current GOP Governor Nathan Deal in the Republican primary. So far, no major Democrat has announced a bid for governor. The Tennessee Valley Authority has appointed a new chief nuclear officer. Joseph Grimes will be based in Chattanooga. He'll be replacing Preston Swafford, who is retiring this year. Another sad death from Panama City Beach. Less than a week after a Tennessee woman fell to her death from a condominium there, a 13-year-old North Georgia girl has drowned in the Gulf of Mexico. Jade McAllister was visiting the city with a church group from Morganton, Georgia. Deputies tried to revive her at the scene, but she was later pronounced dead at a hospital. A 24-year-old British man has been sentenced to more than two years in prison for making a threat on Facebook to shoot hundreds of high school students in Tennessee. Reese Elliott left the anonymous comments on a memorial page for a Warren County student who died last October. The next day, close to 3,000 Warren County students missed school, and law enforcers spent the day combing buildings for any threat. Elliott pleaded guilty and turned himself into police. A homeowner in Crossville, Alabama held three people at gunpoint until authorities arrived after his house was broken into. Deputies say the homeowner was cleaning up his house when he overheard the offender's outside return and tried to break into his trailer. Brittany Say, Kenneth Say, and Christopher Kuykendall were arrested and charged with burglary. And in Crossville, Tennessee, a nude female swimmer distracted a homeowner while his house was burglarized. Police say a woman approached the 54-year-old victim to ask if she could skinny dip in his pool. For 20 minutes, he sat poolside to hand her a towel when she was done, and then she left. Police say the victim got an even bigger surprise when he returned to his home and discovered jewelry, medications, and a handgun, all worth more than $1,000, were missing. Police are seeking the woman and her companion for questioning. In traffic news, Wilcox Tunnel will be closed for maintenance today and tomorrow from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Officials say detours will be posted. And finally, if you've got old cell phones or tablet computers lying around, there's a new way to get some money back for your gadgets. Eco ATM has placed new machines in Northgate Mall and Bradley Square Mall that will give you up to $250 for your old devices, depending on their age and condition. The process typically takes about 10 minutes, and the average offer is only about $30. But it's eco-friendly. About 40% of the old phones are recycled. The rest are refurbished and resold. Turning to weather, there's a chance of showers and thunderstorms today after 11 a.m. 
Otherwise, it will be partly sunny with a high near 91 degrees. The low tonight will be around 71. I'm Harrison Keeley. For more on these stories and updates throughout the day, follow us on Facebook and visit timesfreepress.com.